All right, here we got the Yamaha 2019 Yamaha MT10. Uh, about, you know, about a week, I put about 400 miles on it. Um, didn't go through the owner's manual yet. Owner's manual yet, guilty of that. Um, chain was really loose. I should have took a video before I started mucking with it. The chain had probably two or three inches of play in it. I know you're supposed to do this with a tape measure and measure. say that is inch and a half of play. I'm gonna leave it like that for now because I got the two sides evenly backed off. I give you all kinds of markings and stuff. I use inch and a quarter I know it's metric, but the inch and a quarter um, drive fits, fits this perfect. And I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't, but as you can see, that is a, a tight fit. I don't have a torque wrench, but it wasn't that hard to get off from the factory. Everybody, I heard it's a, I see people jumping on it. I mean, maybe because I'm 6'3", 266. It helped. I just one arm barely, and it broke pretty, pretty easy. Almost kind of worried about that. I don't see anybody using blue Loctite on this or anything. I'm surprised they don't even put a lock washer on it. It's kind of crazy. I have RC cars that have more, uh, more stuff to secure fasteners. If you ever take it off, you always want the bevel out, flat side in. Kind of common sense, but you never know. It actually starts to get tight by hand. Um, I did with a 12 millimeter. I have, some, I have some, some metric tools, but I have a mixture of Craftsman, Snap-on, all different kinds of tools. Make them work, work with what you got. I was using this compass to check distances in there and vice versa on the other side. I'm gonna leave it like that for now, but you can get away with the inch and a quarter drive. Got that out. I just wanna make sure it was equal. Um, chain. I'm gonna read up what to spray it with. I have a bunch of stuff in the in my garage slash shed slash everything. Um, don't want to spray the wrong lubricant on here and have it spraying all around, but it doesn't it doesn't feel dry. I'm gonna read up on that and see what um, what you should be spraying on there. I'm not gonna monkey with anything yet. I also didn't touch the factory ride height or anything. Took it out to um, the old airport landing strip yesterday. Closed course, uh, black top, but it's neglected. Only probably as fast as I'll ever ride it. It's 140. But there you have it. MT-10. I was going to make a how-to video, but I jumped the gun. I saw one already. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to somebody who uh, knew more of the detailed specs. Apparently there's an argument about what it says in the manual and what it actually should be um, spec to, the chain movement up and down. But I really don't want to do a race exhaust. If anybody knows a good exhaust, um, clamp on I should say, let me know. Uh, it's not because I want to be loud and obnoxious, but I wouldn't mind people hearing me coming. I had somebody the other day pass me and almost hit. I was at a stop, wasn't doing anything wrong, wasn't wasn't uh, showing off or anything. I feel like he came so close to me, but I mean, he was like, boom, on the left side, I made a left turn. 
I was like, really, dude? You had to come that close to me. I was, you know, it's not like I was way back from the car in front of me. We were completely stopped at a light, and he had the, he had the green light on to make a left turn. But anyway, we all know the stupid people out there. If I can give any word of advice, I'd say never trust anybody's signals. So just because they're signaling left or right, don't mean they're going to go that way. So I'll keep you safe. Uh, from odds, I want to do um, just the, I like this windscreen. I'm tall. I want a little more windscreen. Uh, something Zilla has it. I forgot the name of the website. But uh, it goes up to here and smoke. I think I'm gonna, that's going to be my first mod, I think. I, my head gets a little bit uh, turbulent from the air going over. Probably just because of my height. Like I said, I sit. Sometimes I sit against this and sometimes I sit against the tank. If I'm going to go, obviously you're going forward. If you want to cruise around without pulling wheelies, I haven't taken it, out, taken it out of touring mode yet. And it's still crazy, 140 miles an hour and pulls, uh, pulls the wheel off. Traction control is on setting number two. Um, mode three is my uh, driving. Solid. Uh, trip to 390. Um, average 28 miles per gallon. Odometer 390. Yeah. I have a trip one. Um, you can see, I don't have to tell you. Trip two, 390. I haven't touched it since I left the dealer last week. Miles per gallon. Average miles per gallon. Odometer. I just keep it on the trip one so I know. The fuel light is funky, man. It goes from full to like half. There's no three quarter tank. It just like, it that like scares you because it's down to like half. <laughs> I gotta get used to it. Um, so far I've only put like 2.5 gallons in here. I think it's a 4.5 gallon tank. But anyway, that's it man. When, you, uh, when you're lining everything back up, just take special care. Um, the markings. Um, could use something like this if you got something around. Something like an adjustable uh, square, speed square. And uh, that's it, man. I love this bike. It's crazy fast. Came from a single cylinder 600 20 years ago to this. And this is just a rocket. I sat on the 600, so I would have been happy with the 600, but yeah, it was just too small for me. Love the headlights. Always putting LEDs in everything I own. Um, and uh, I'm not going to touch any of the lighting on this bike. There's just no, no need to. And I love that little transformer. That really does. What, what transformer does this look like? You guys tell me. It looks like one of those mini ones. I'm like one of the later transformer series. ABS. Traction control. Cruise. I've actually used the cruise control. It's actually kind of nice. I was scared to do it at first, um, just even messing with it, but it's all, just like a car. You get your set initially once this button's on, um, slow down, speed up. The throttle, even in touring mode, is just so touchy when you just want to kind of relax a little bit, take a deep breath. No cars around, you put it on the cruise control. Any uh, press of any brake, foot, or hand will immediately, you know, like a car, we'll shut off the cruise control. And uh, what else can I say about this bike? It's just awesome. I didn't want to lean over. I had two, two spinal fusions in my life when I'm able to ride this bike. Uh, obviously, I see railroad track crossings um, up on the pegs, and I take my butt about an inch off the seat. I do have bad back days. I, I gotta do something about that horn. A little meme, -me. it's just cute. And yeah, I would love like a little air horn on this thing. If anybody knows of anything, comments, leave in the description. I guess this thing is crazy hot because it's bluing. I've never redlined the bike yet that I was aware of anyway. Or hit, hit the rev limiter. Um, but my next video probably I'm gonna obviously read the manual and uh, 
do um, an oil change. Maybe soon. I love that inline cross plane for the sound of this thing. It's just so sweet. All right, I'm gonna uh, double check, triple, quadruple check all my measurements and make sure I got this real centered. And then um, make a make a trip back to the dealership. For whatever reason, they mail you the registration. And you gotta go back. I mean, no, take that back. You gotta go pick it up. They said they don't mail it to you. I'm like, really? You spend this kind of coin, and they, uh, you gotta go pick it up. And maybe that's so they could sell you some uh, some more accessories. Um, started off with the basic helmet. I'm gonna upgrade my helmet. I um, I do wear protection. Today is going to be 80 something degrees. I'll be wearing jeans and a sweatshirt probably. Backpack it. Going to a party. I don't drink and drive. Stay alive. A friend drinking and driving on his motorcycle. Good friend of mine. Peeled back his face. He's wearing an open, you know, Harley helmet. Yeah. Um, give this guy's credit, man. I don't know. I feel safe in a helmet. Safer. I got uh, some reflective um, clothing and stuff. I keep myself, I try to keep myself visible. I, think, I don't know if these tires do, but I do drive with the brights on. Um, not so much at night. I mean, I don't want to blind people, but uh, daytime, I think most riders drive around with the bright on. All right. Hope I haven't bored you to death. Um, check out our other videos. We're mostly RC cars. Me and my uh, eight-year-old son. I needed a toy and this fit the bill. And I'm almost done paying off uh, the big dog. Seven more payments. She's nine. 2014 Tundra. Anyway. Yeah, I made that sign. Driving like kids live here. Some people do, some people don't. Anyway, you guys have a good Memorial Day weekend. Be safe, everybody. Be kind to people, and they'll be kind to you.